good morning. It is 5 a.m. on the summer solstice. Officially the longest day of the year. And I'm gonna explain what we're gonna be doing today. I'm cutting Tom's hair one day. We're planning what to do on the summer solstice. And he says to me, I've always wanted to ride around the M25. I'm like, okay, Tom. After a little bit of conversation, we decided that we were going to ride around the M25. Because, you know, if you're bored of going London to Brighton to London, Surrey Hills, exactly. you need to mix it up, why not do a circumnavigation of the M25? <laughs> it's the logical thing to do. <laughs> has this been a lifelong plan of yours? It actually has. It's been a bucket list plan. I saw a guy who walked it. Walked it? He walked it, yeah. I was like, you yeah, know, I did. I mean, loads of people have clearly done it. There's loads of routes. There's loads of routes. The question is, are we going to do it? The biggest question is, why? Memories, that's why. So we're going to create some memories. We're going to do it so we never have to do it again. Exactly. And then you guys can follow the route and do it. Maybe. Oh, also, if you're a regular viewer, thank you. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment and subscribe. Subscribe! subscribe. started in Leatherhead. We're now moving on to Rygate. Most of the hills are in Surrey, luckily. So that means we should have a clear run. Once we get past the Dartford Tunnel, it shouldn't be too hilly. Although some of you may know different and I'm headed into a bit of a storm. But it's fun, right? It's what life is all about. I reckon I've been a bit excessive with the um, with the Maltons. <laughs> I don't know what my stomach's going to be like after this, but I need them and they get you out of trouble. I recommend them highly. It's 8 a.m. We've stopped off at a McDonald's near Seven Oaks. Going to go for a McDonald's breakfast, charge us up a little bit. Yeah, so we were going to go 80k all the way to Dartford, but we kind of thought we planned beforehand 60k stops. So that's what we've done. Got to 62k, stopped off at McDonald's and we're just gonna fuel up, see how we get on. It's okay so far. I started off really, really well because there was no cars. So it's like we were like living the dream. Now there's many, many more cars coming into rush hour now. So we're right in the midst of things. A lot of A roads, lot of then dual carriageways. So yeah, some of the roads have been a bit rubbish, but on the whole, it's been good so far. Right, I'm gonna fuel up and then uh, back to it. Have faith in me, guys. Have faith. So we've got, what we've got, we've gone for hash brown and bacon and egg McMuffin. Bacon and egg McMuffin. So we're going to enjoy this and we'll get back to it. See you at the Dartford Tunnel. Because there's a little phone booth. You call, well, you'll see. You'll see what happens at the Dartford Tunnel. We literally just keep misunderstanding each other and it's quite funny. I think I said flat and he was like flout, flat, flot, flat, flat. <laughs> So this is what you've got to do. You get to the crossing. You're gonna go for it, Tom. What's it say? Pick up the blower. Hi there, we're just looking to get two bikes over to the Essex side. Can you pick up, please? 
Brilliant. Thanks very much. Bye. There you Easy go. as that. And yeah. what is it, a 15 minute wait? Or? Hey, oh, see. see. I think they're already here, look. Yeah, so we, it's taken us three hours to get to Dartford. So we're running on, on schedule, we're doing well. This is what they use. So ho hopefully that will be, um, that'd be fine, won't it? Nice and secure. And yeah, we'll be away. Look at that. That's time, mate. got dropped off lovely lovely guy actually it was so simple you literally get the phone pick it up it calls through to them he was there within like a minute a five minute journey across and we're there you actually go to a little section that's just off of the main road itself and then they drop you off down a little side road so it's, it's literally perfect highly recommend it really really nice staff done if we were lucky I don't know if they're all really sound, but he was sound. So far, so good. I'm confident that it's gonna go well. It's a big challenge today. I was very anxious, but you know what? Because I wanna create your memories and because I'm filming it, I feel like I can't back out. I've got to just give it my all, go for it. And I've got Tom, so I can sit behind him. He's 27, 28. He's told me a million times I can't remember. I'm 42. I need to save my legs. So I just sit behind him, let him do the work. He doesn't know. We'll get there. So now we head up through Essex. That's going to be interesting. We're going to be there soon. Tom, are you refreshed? RIP Queen Elizabeth. RIP Queen Elizabeth. This is the bridge in her honour. Yeah, yeah. Pull one out for the Queen. Oh, one Precious. out for who? Did you say? Pour one out. Oh, pour oh. one out. Sorry, sorry. That's the lack of communication again. Is it? There. It's yeah. Just yeah. your disgusting little ring. You, you're confident we can do this, though. You're very. Well. Yes. Yeah. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. A, it's gonna make great footage for you guys, hopefully. Touch wood. And uh, B, once you've done it, you never have to do it again, right? Yeah. Average 26k. 26 26k averaging, and we've done. We have done. Every hill. 1,007 metres of ascent so far. halfway of elevation? Yeah, we're not even halfway round yet, are we? So we're nowhere near halfway. No, so elevation is half. Surrey is probably, yeah, the most Scotland. difficult. Essex. Essex do that again, now. Yeah. Do the Essex once again. again. Do, do that again. Drop me out. Hello, mate, you're all right. Yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it all right. Now Tom's got to do it, all right? Go on, Tom. You've gone, put him on accent. Ah. Right, in a bit, guys. So in Essex is actually really lovely. Some really cool lanes, just calms it down a little bit. You've not got loads and loads of cars right behind you. It's really lovely. Rolling hills, it does remind me of Surrey. Just a little bit flatter. It's very picturesque though in places. I think the hills, for a long time, we're killing my legs, particularly once you get to about 100k, you start to feel it in the legs. So, I'm glad that most of the elevation is at the beginning up to halfway basically. Then it kind of flattens out a little bit through North London, hopefully. Winds away, egg up, and then back round. So, yeah, so far, so good. currently 135 kilometers in we've stopped off for a little um, 
little bite to eat in Epping. We're in Essex. Might even be on the show. It's funny because Essex is beautiful actually. All the lanes quite close for, to Hertfordshire. When we hit the 200k mark, it's the one. So yeah, coffee, tuna wrap, detour to the shop, or something to fuel us on the ride. And it's going well, it's going well. Seven. 187 kilometers in, starting to feel it. Funnily enough, I've never ever had this, but I'm starting to feel it in, in one of my wrists. But I suppose if you've been on the on the bike for six hours or so, you're gonna start feeling niggles, aren't you? I mean, every single kilometer now is unknown territory. That's true, exactly. This is the longest I've ever done, and the longest Tom's ever done. Is it nice? Let's try it. I've got this though, Biscoff. Biscoff pie. What are you going for, Tom? It's Ice quite self explanatory, isn't it? Ice bun. Ice bun. You don't muck about, do you? You like that. So, how are you feeling? Uh, you... Uh, yeah, legs feel like fine. It's just like it's a constant battle with cramp. Yeah, One yeah. One minute yeah. I'll be like, I'm over it. And then it'll sort of creep back in. So, yeah, I think once we get this last, it's sort of not a hill, but there's like a bumpy A little bit of elevation, isn't there, left? Yeah. So, I think. There's around 2,000 metres of elevation and we have done pretty much all of it. We're just below St Albans, next we go sort of towards Windsor and through that way and that way we know because of the cinnamon bun run it's quite flat so looking forward to getting there. This might be the end of part one. Will my wa wahoo last? Will Tom's Garmin last in a bit guys and, and thanks for watching tune in next week for part two